It looks like Chris Lang has got himself another star trotter in the shape of the exciting three-year-old one over De Moon, brilliant winner of the home field on Friday night at Melton. One over De Moon was a two-year-old duels winner who galloped in the recent three-year-old duels, but on Friday night in Melbourne, he was absolutely faultless. Uh, you've got to give plenty of credit, Greg, to his former New Zealand trainer, Paul Nairn, who did a terrific amount of work on the horse in the early days. Yeah, for sure and certain, and Paul will get the chance to, uh, to put the polish on him again later on in his career. He's over here for the Victoria Trotters Derby. He'll also run in the Breeders' Crown. And Dan, Chris suggests that he's going to have a couple of runs in low-grade races before the, uh, before the Victoria Derby. Interesting, he says he's, he's a little nugget. He's, uh, he's quite strong-willed. And he, he's nice. He's nice-natured away from the racetrack, but uh, I think that was a, the, the, the easiest way to describe him without getting too nasty, by the sounds of it. A bit of a rogue in some ways. Look, Chris Lang is, is just a master. He's as good as anybody that I've seen in the industry to peak a horse for a feature race. He can always find an extra length or two when he aims his horses at the big races. So congratulations to, to Chris. He is a master. He did come from a master trainer in New Zealand and the horse is very good. There's no doubt about that. Better find out what's happening in Kiwi land as we go across the ditch and here's Russell Jackson. As we near the end of the season, milestones start being set. And that was the case for driver Blair Orange in a low-key maiden trot at Addington on Friday. The third quarter's only 32.1. He's got to win this the leader, surely. Strathfield Sun leads by two lengths. Don's Me Dad trotting after it. And then came Little Mo. Strathfield Sun is in front. Don's Me Dad's a length away, still closing. Strathfield Sun being collared by Don's Me Dad, who ran to the top. And here's win number 100 for the season for Blair Orange. Blair Orange with 100 winning drives for the first time in his career, surpassing his previous best of 81. Orange leaves the Purden and Rasmussen All-Stars stable in a few weeks and joins the Ken Barron stable at the start of next season. Our leading driver, Dexter Dunn, is honing in on 200 wins. Dunn is the only Rainsman to have reached the 200 win landmark, doing so twice. However, in his previous two seasons, his tally has been 199. Yep, one short in his last two seasons. He's on track this season with another three winners on Friday. And as we go to air, he's sitting at about 180 victories. Gary Hall Sr. said he always planned to give his son Clinton his first race drive behind I'm the Mighty Quinn, but it just didn't turn out the way either had hoped. The leader, David Hercules, I'm the Mighty Quinn, struggling to get there. David Hercules clear from I'm the Mighty Quinn, please release me. David Hercules in front of I'm the Mighty Quinn, and David Hercules causes the boil over. And in the four-year-old mare semi-finals, mighty mare Frith showed she is the one to beat in the final, leading all the way for a comfortable win. Now does, but it's Frith the leader, coming in at his priceless gem. Got to get busy on Frith. She leads by three parts on priceless gem, who's closing in, but Frith's doing enough. She's packing plenty, and Frith wins at a length. Gets home to beat priceless gem, Abercrombie Ellis in third and fourth to ultimate trump.